I'm Councillor Sam Waddington and I'm here today at the Fraser River to take the opportunity to explain why flood protection is so important to our community. Our dikes have been in place for over a hundred years in Chilliwack and they're an integral part of protecting the community that we love and making sure that we're protected from the Fraser River and the, and the floods that can happen here and have happened in our community in the past. I'm currently the acting mayor for the city of Chilliwack as we undergo the upgrading of Young Road as part of our East Dyke Infrastructure Upgrade Project. My name is Frank Van Nynutten and I work at the engineering department uh, at the city of Chilliwack. In 1894, the city uh, experienced the flood of record. Uh, during that time, the whole downtown was underwater uh, and based on photos, it appears that people on Mill Street were actually using rafts to get around. We currently design uh, our dikes all along the Fraser River to accommodate the flood of record. If we experience the flood of record uh, today or this year, water would actually flow over top of Young Road at its current elevation. Every kilometer of dike that meets the provincial diking standards is one less kilometer where emergency works will be necessary. Some people might support an all or nothing approach to diking, but this simply isn't feasible because we need to protect our community today. Overall, the city of Chilliwack has 50 kilometers of dike uh, to protect the community and we, uh, we endeavor to raise them to provincial standards. The city's Fraser River diking system protects over 40,000 residents, including the entire downtown area and the Chilliwack General Hospital. In addition, the dike protects the city's water and sewer, the Trans-Canada Highway, CN Rail, uh, BC Hydro, as well as a host of many other infrastructure. The following images are going to show the, uh, the entire city of Chilliwack area, right from Greendale to, uh, to Rosedale. And the, uh, the second slide is actually going to show how much of that is actually in the floodplain. That would be underwater during the uh, flood of record if there were no dikes. And the third slide is going to show the diking system and it's going to show that we have uh, raised the dikes from the Rosedale Bridge to Young Road and uh, the portions that still need to be done are that portion of Young Road and the town dike. Currently the Young Road Dike Project qualifies for provincial and federal funding and it also provides significant immediate flood protection benefits to our community. The Fraser River is a very dynamic water course and it can raise in elevation by um, several feet per day. So this graph shows the historic water levels at the Mission Gauge on the Fraser River. Uh, the dashed black line shows what the average water levels on the Fraser River would be What's important or what's interesting is the 1948 flood, you can see how quickly it rose in elevation. Uh, over a three week period, it went from under two meters at Mission Gauge to just about seven and a half meters. And this portion, even more importantly, it rose by two and a half meters, which is over eight feet in a period of seven days, which is a very dramatic increase in elevation. A good portion of the city of Chilliwack is within the floodplain and without the dikes to protect it, uh, if we did get a flood of record, most of that would be underwater. As you can imagine, the potential losses would be immense. In 1948, this river was lapping at our dikes and was a reminder of the flood of record that devastated this community in the 1800s. We are constantly mindful of what's at stake in the event of a flood. There are businesses and homes and critical infrastructure, both to our community and to the entire province, and we have a responsibility to protect that. If people are looking for more information, they're welcome to go to the city's website at www.chilliwack.com.